hello welcome back to my channel my name is Chris and this reading is for the general collective of all signs as we experience the full moon in Libra so it's not going to be for every person watching if it does resonate for you comment down below and if not please check my channel for other content that you may need to see um, and of course remember time energy and gender are fluid feel free to reverse roles however it applies to you and don't forget to like share subscribe to my channel and tap that notification bell so you don't miss future readings and thank you so so much to my new and returning subscribers your love and support is so super appreciated as always I love connecting with you guys um, I love reading through the comments and uh, reading your emails doing private readings all of those things so please keep commenting down below keep letting me know um, your suggestions even too for the channel if there are things that you would like to see I would love to hear it so all of my links for social media and ways to reach out to me are located in the description box below so be sure to check that out and uh, let's get started so of course I will be doing a little bit of an astro talk if you want to skip that you can check out the timestamp down below in the comments and for those of you who uh, like hearing me talk for a few minutes let's talk about the energy of the full moon in Libra so as we know, full moons are all about releasing, letting go of anything not serving a higher purpose in our lives. So this particular full moon is very important since it's the first up in the new astrological year. Uh, basically our, our first opportunity to make sure that everything from last year has been let go of, right? And that we're available to start manifesting our vision. So this Libra energy is really going to be pushing us to reevaluate and clean out the closets of any remaining clutter or anything that is off balance in our lives. So Libra ruled by Venus is uh, meaning that our relationships and money will be pulled into focus. So it's time to balance the scales and be honest with ourselves about the ratio of which energy is being distributed. Okay. Anyone or anything that isn't giving back has been formally uninvited to take up space in our lives any longer. Everything is an energy exchange, and the Libra full moon is calling for justice to be served, okay? So healing, protection, harmony, all of those things are gonna be highlighted at this time, and there will additionally be some very powerful energies at play at the same time that will positively enforce the moon's mission. So Venus, Chiron the wounded healer and the sun will be aligned during this time and the moon will also be forming a grand trine to Saturn and Mars which is a perfect triangle so grand trines are considered positive omens a really great time where things flow easily so basically this energy is going to allow us to be open to the truth of how powerful we actually are so the full moon grand trine is telling us that solutions to our struggles are going to be presented from a place of peace reminding us of how far we've come on our journey and just how our hard work is paying off so make sure you celebrate your efforts celebrate you allow the energy to lift you to the next level because you deserve it remember that you cannot turn to the new chapter of your life if you're still rereading over the last one so just remember too that the full moon is going to remind you that you're whole complete and beautiful on your own anyone who isn't on board with your vision does not belong in your story at all so quit making room for people who aren't making room for you and that is for everyone okay <laughs> and so let's get straight into the reading I am going to be pulling from the moonology Oracle as I usually do on full moons and new moons this is a general reading so if it doesn't resonate don't don't sit around being confused listening to a 30-minute tarot reading. Just feel free to click off and I'll catch you on the next one, okay? Don't force the story to fit. It can be about you. It can be about another person. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Let's see what the energy is for the general collective. And um, see what the top says and the bottom so on the top we've got confidence is your key to success new moon and Leo so fiery energy with a new moon I kind of feel like that is the reminder here like I said we are going to be shown 
that yes, we are beautiful without anyone else. We don't need validation from anybody. Our confidence is what makes us who we are. So it's time to stand up in that, right? Um, if we want to be successful in our direction, in our path, then we need to be willing to let go of the dead weight and really shine, okay? And then on the bottom of the deck, we have you are good enough, full moon in Virgo. So when I see this card, I always just think to myself, anyone who has doubts about who they are, anyone has doubts about how strong um, or how capable they are in moving things forward, or if they feel like they have some insecurity issues, this is here to tell you that you're actually blocking yourself. Look at the opposite energy here. We have confidence and then, and then not confidence someone who is questioning their worth so I feel like the overall message here is to remember to stay in this manifesting energy stay in this creative and fiery passionate vibe don't allow yourself to fall into the overthinking tendencies that Virgo you know a lot of times has it's also a trait of Libra okay so right now Again, with full moons, it is a time to release, but we know that full moons are also time of very heightened emotions. So just remember, when, when you're focusing on what it is that you've worked for and what you deserve, when you're focusing on what it's gonna be when justice is served for you, don't allow yourself to get stuck before the manifestation hits because you're starting to overthink or overanalyze, okay? Don't question your worth at this time. It's important for you to know it, okay? And so I kind of just feel like this is a warning too. Like, don't forget who the fuck you are, okay? Don't forget how powerful you are. Don't forget how beautiful you are. You are the main character of your story. Stop worrying about what other people think or whether or not you're good enough for someone else, okay? You are you. It's not about being good enough. It's about who are you, okay? Who are you? Ride that wave. Don't worry about focusing on others and what they think or how they make you feel perhaps. Focus on you and your success and your confidence because that's going to be the ship that sails you home, okay? Your ship. No one else's. So let's get started. I'm actually going to be using In Spirits of Easter coming up. I'll be using the Ostara Tarot, which is brand new. I know you just heard that crispy shuffle. So let's get a few shuffles in. Um, I do love this deck. It is beautiful. So let's get one more. I feel like three. Three is good. There. Three shuffles for the three points of the Grand Trine, okay? That's some good luck for you. So let's see what's in the recent past for the collective. What's in the recent past? And as we know, this reading is intended to be resonating for the energy of the full moon. So recent past could be as, you know, as close as yesterday or today even. So we've got the, oops, okay. So we've got the Seven of Wands. We also have Justice. <laughs> Can't even believe it. Actually, I can. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Like I said, this deck is kind of new. And then we have the Five of Cups. Interesting. So, let's talk about the recent past and so much came out, okay? I kind of feel like this could even be so far as saying this is a recap of the previous astrological year, okay? For some of you, that might resonate. Um, so, first of all, with the Seven of Wands, um, I kind of feel like... I kind of feel like this is the energy of, as you can see, all of these ladders. Look at the hard work and the dedication that this person has has put into their journey, okay? Look at all of the levels that this person has progressed to. And she sits on top. 
like victorious. I kind of just feel this passionate energy arising. So maybe this is a lot of you just kind of coming to terms with what it is that you really need to do in order to persevere in your journey. Okay. So however that resonates for you, this is the energy of the warrior, someone who pushes things forward um, and perseveres, right? And so with the justice card coming out after that, I love this Libra energy. The feather and the heart on the scale. I just kind of feel like a lot of you, a lot of you have really been through it as far as karma is concerned. As we know, um, you know, the scales are balanced because of dark and light. So it's not just a tra-la-la type of a journey. It's hard fucking work. It's a struggle to get up all of those levels to finally reach success or feel like you have any value, okay? Perhaps some of you started down here in that I don't think I'm good enough energy and finally rose to the top and, and realized, like I said, your power, realized how strong you are. And that's that Leo energy, that strength energy. And so when I see justice, I, I feel like maybe some of you have recently ended a connection. This could be divorce. It could be separation. But I see this as karmic justice being served. And that's been popping up a lot in these recent readings. Justice being served, karma happening for people, tower moments, realizations, okay? So with the Queen of Pentacles coming up, I just feel like very strong Capricorn energy here um, with these goats. But I don't know, I just kind of feel this nurturing and loving energy. But as we know, the pentacles does represent earth, material things. Um, perhaps a lot of you in the recent past have started nurturing yourselves, okay? Kind of see this as the energy of like nurturing an inner child even. Some of you could be mothers, parents, um, business owners even, because the queen of pentacles is capable of manifesting that abundance, but I really feel the healing of an inner child here. This could, for some of you, also be um, separation from a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. But all in all, I'm really just feeling that nurturing energy. And I feel like it's nurturing of the self. So with the Five of Cups, I also feel like perhaps um, there's been a lot of sadness and disappointment that's needed to be dealt with in the past as well. Uh, we know this to be kind of crying over spilled milk or focusing too hard on the past, not seeing the two of cups still being being salvageable. Um, as you can see, we have this character boohooing in their hands and the snake is looking at them. And you know what I just heard? You did this to yourself. Oh, shit. So, you know, for some of you, you have no one to blame but yourselves. And, and I'm sorry if that sounded mean, but I mean, I'm actually kind of talking to myself here too, because in the last year, I've spent a lot of time crying over things that didn't work out. And it took me a long fucking time to realize that I've wasted all that time crying over something that wasn't even meant for me. I was missing opportunities by allowing myself to stay stuck in the past. And so for a lot of you, I feel a major rising up from that. Um, maybe for a lot of you, like I said, you didn't feel good enough because of something that happened that made you feel like sad or depressed. Um, maybe this was a separation from someone, like I said, and like karma kind of came into play. But in a sense, it's like maybe some of you have been waiting for some sort of justice to be served. But remember, karma, <laughs> karma never forgets an address, okay? Never. And so if you've been kind of waiting for something to pan out or waiting for some sort of justice to play out in your life, um, I feel like you, you also learned that instead of hoping or praying for that, it's time to just start healing from it. Okay, so let's get some energy for the present. So what's going on under the light of the full moon in Libra? Hmm. Interesting. 
Wow, so we've got the Three of Cups, the Two of Cups, anything else? Okay. We have the Five of Wands. Interesting. I kind of want one more because I want it to be even. This is the full moon in Libra, okay? We need balance. So let's get one more. One more card, please. Okay, and the 10 of swords, which has also been coming up a lot. This is a beautiful image, sad, but beautiful. So, and I think I'm feeling that because Ten of Swords kind of is justice in some cases. You know what I mean? For some of you, you've been waiting on this ending of a painful karmic cycle to take place. Um, so let's talk about it. Let's see. So with the Three of Cups, we know this to be a card of reunion and celebration. But I, I, don't, I don't really necessarily think I feel that here. I almost feel... Um, I almost feel like a, a like a tired energy or like almost even a scattered energy. Three of Cups could also sometimes represent third party situations, but overall I kind of I kind of feel like there's been this need for peace and reconciliation, okay? And I feel like that's what some of you are after right now. Um some of you really could want to reconcile in a romantic connection, seeing as we have the Two of Cups next. Um, and I love the stars and the moon kind of really illuminating this whole picture here. I just feel like, oh my gosh, okay, and let me just tell you, this is so this is so adorable, but also kind of creepy. So we have these two birds, but they're interlacing their human hands. They have human hands, okay? And so I feel for a lot of you, this could involve uh, like a soulmate connection, um, some some sort of a connection that might not, hmm, it, it might not have been approved or it might not seem like normal or there's almost like an unorthodox type of a vibe I'm getting here, especially with the fact that these birds have actual hands. I almost feel like they're wearing costumes almost. <laughs> okay, so... So like I said, with this energy here, I felt very scattered. So for a lot of you, this could also be like trying to call back your energy as well and try to um, achieve some sort of a union energy. So whether that's with a person or whether that's with yourself, I feel like maybe there's been some hiding, okay? There's been some hiding when it comes to emotions, but I see this card as like <clears throat> mutual feelings and respect, like true love, like two old people dying in their beds together, notebook style. That's what I see when I see this image, okay? So some of you, like I said, could really be wanting to reconcile with a lover, with someone who you consider your soulmate or, or your spiritual counterpart, but there's been a lot of struggle. There's been a lot of conflict. And so right now in the present moment, what this is saying is maybe you are very conflicted over a situation that could be from your past considering as we've got that like reunion energy here but the problem is is that maybe there's been some level of competition as you can see the the snakes are kind of inter intertwined in between all of these wands but the wands are kind of stabbing the snakes too I kind of just feel a sneaky energy or like this hiding energy Maybe someone had options at some point, and right now that's what the struggle is. It's like, okay, why am I stressing over, why am I stressing over reuniting with someone or making things right with someone when I feel so conflicted about it? Okay, and that's not for everyone, but I feel like this is just a very conflicting energy here. We've got the three and the two of cups, and now the five of wands. Okay, so a lot of you could be releasing and finally deciding to end this struggle of energy. Okay, this is the distribution of energy that I'm talking about before. Okay, so again, for some of you, maybe you've been put in third parties and that's left you feeling really scattered um, and confused. 
Maybe you wanted to reunite with this person because you felt like there was a special connection. But as you can see, something's off in this picture. Something is off. These people are wearing bird costumes. So again, I feel like there was some level of fakeness here. It's like maybe you thought that there was spiritual union coming for you. Maybe you thought that you knew who this person was and maybe you had a picture of what it would be like to be with this person. But again, the feelings you're getting right now are so conflicting and there's so much drama that you're like, you know what? <clears throat> Fuck this shit. I'm out. Okay, this is an ending. Separation. So for some of you, this could be you letting go of someone, right? Ending a situation where maybe you felt confused, scattered. Maybe you felt like you weren't really being chosen. Maybe you felt like you had to put in all this work just to be seen. And now you're starting to realize like, wait, no. You're starting to see the forest for the trees, okay? For some of you, this could be involving another person. Okay, if you're waiting on a person um, to to finally separate from someone, um, this could be your sign that that's currently happening. Okay, that's currently happening. There could be a lot of fighting going on and struggle um, about, like I said, maybe a third party situation, um, maybe some energy here of what, like I said, the the dream or the vision that you are wanting to manifest, but it just not something being off. There's something about something being off that I keep hearing. Okay. And it's something very small. Okay. So you know what, if I would have held this card a little bit up, I wouldn't have even seen them hands, those little baby hands. Okay. I wouldn't have even seen that. It's such a minute detail. And so for some of you, this could also be you kind of figuring out like the person you thought maybe was your twin flame or soulmate isn't. Um, maybe, like I said, it looked right. It lined up just perfectly. But then maybe the mask <laughs> kind of fell off a little bit and you were like, oh, that bird's got baby hands. You know what I'm saying? So however that resonates with you, um, with the whale being stabbed all these times, but still coming up and cresting out of the water. It just makes me feel like there's been such an insurmountable struggle over whatever this thing is. It's almost like this, the 10 swords are a release. It's a welcome release. So let's see what's going to be happening in the next, um, the next week or so. Let's get the energy from the full moon until the new moon. So for the next couple of weeks, what type of energy will be at play? Let's get four more cards again. I liked that whole four thing. So first we've got the four of swords. Beautiful. That's like the shit I want to see. I want to see the four of swords because healing, like I said, is definitely needed. Especially after the ten of swords. Um, hmm, six of cups. Love it. What else? Two more, please. Hmm. Okay. Here we go. Here's our two. So we have the judgment card. That looks kind of scary. And then also the eight of pentacles. I like this. Okay, so let's get started. So in the future energy, the next couple of weeks moving into um, or about to move into Taurus season as we end Aries season, there's going to be healing. Okay, a lot of you are going to be surrendering to what you can no longer control and starting to realize that your health and your peace is more important than struggling to make sure that other people are satisfied or struggling to, to make sure that you fit into other people's lives. Like it's time for you to start thinking about yourself and surrendering to what the universe has in store for you. It's time to rest. It's time to call back your energy and it's time to heal from whatever that 10 of swords was okay so with the six of cups for some of you 
for some of you, this could actually mean reconciliation, all right, as that's exactly what the Six of Cups is. It's reconciling with someone from the past. This is kindness and nostalgia. These are deep emotions and soul tie connections, all right? This is the energy of seeds being planted and missed opportunities happening and then coming back on it when things have changed, okay? So perhaps there's someone in your environment that you are reminiscing over or again, vice versa. This is someone who's starting to think over the past and perhaps regret not making you feel valued, okay? So with the judgment card, I see a major decision being made, all right? Major. It's like a life or death decision for some of you. But when I see judgment, I feel like this is the divine coming in to remind you, okay? You're going to be reminded of your power, of your purpose. You're going to be put back on track, okay? Some of you could also be making a final judgment call on something. And for some of you, and maybe even a lot of you, that judgment call could simply be to stop focusing on anything else but work, okay? And this doesn't necessarily have to be a job when I say work. I mean work. Like whatever your work is, this is your spiritual journey, okay? Whatever the work is that you do that you feel passionate about, this is your time to shine in that. It's time to start mastering a craft, mastering a position, okay? Working hard for that promotion, putting in the energy and the dedication to move up that level like we were talking about. It's time to get focused in the physical and start really laying down the bricks for the foundation that you're trying to build, okay? And so <clears throat> you don't just get to the Ten of Pentacles. It's hard work. You build it. You work for it, okay? So very interesting spread. I really enjoy it. I know it's a little crooked. Let's see if maybe I can just fix the camera and not the cards. 2717 on the clock. I, I'm always seeing 717, like all the time. Okay, so let's get some clarity too. <clears throat> let's get some clarity for the recent past. Let's get some clarity for the present. And for the future. Okay, so. <clears throat> so let's talk about this real fast. To clarify for the recent past, we have the Princess of Pentacles. So this is the Page of Pentacles, slow AF, moving, so, slow slow like a snail right like barely even moving probably actually more like standing still so I kind of feel like a stuck energy and even though the the purpose was there and even though the plans were there and maybe some motion had been made I just feel like whoever this is was stuck okay yes they're working towards stability but it was a long and arduous journey Okay, maybe this is also someone feeling like they weren't getting anywhere in the physical world, maybe struggling financially. But I also see this as the reason, okay, the reason why they were struggling or maybe not moving things along is because, like I said, karma needed to play out, uh, lessons needed to be learned, things needed to be realized, and that's why the motion wasn't happening. So with the devil clarifying the present, this is Capricorn energy. As you can see, these two people are bound and, and kind of tangled up in a spider web. I just feel like this is the, the fight, the great fight right now is dealing with the devil, okay? And as we all know, you know, it's not just fighting off the devil. Some of us made a deal with the devil in a sense, okay, metaphorically. We signed up for it, like I said. When, when I saw this snake and I heard, 
You did this to yourself. That's the concept of the devil. You sign that deal. You sell your soul away to an idea or a concept or a thing or a person. Okay? You get maybe wrapped up in codependency and toxicity. Something that is a repetitive cycle that needs to be ended. Okay? And so again, maybe there was some dark energy at play keeping you feeling stuck or trapped or bound. And that's coming to an end, okay? So to clarify the future, I love how we move from the Eight of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles. So for those of you who decide that you are gonna put in the work, for those of you who decide to use this opportunity and this energy to your advantage, you are going to gain financially you're going to gain stability, you're going to gain freedom and independence. I see the Nine of Pentacles as like a pre-Empress energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, not really needing anything from anyone, just happy and like satisfied by oneself, okay? The Nine of Pentacles isn't someone who's like single and looking. This is someone who is single, who chooses to be single, who enjoys it because they worked hard as shit to get where they are. And with the Queen of Wands coming in here, like I said, it's time to start following your passion and your purpose, using your attitude, your charisma, starting to really manifest whatever it is that you're trying to call in. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, like I said, it's that confidence is your key to success energy. Being confident and sure in your sole purpose and wielding that wand in the air, waving it around like a helicopter, okay? Do you. The universe is telling you to do you. That's how you're going to get to this place of satisfaction. Not by giving others a free ride, not by allowing people who don't reciprocate or give back to just linger in your energy, Okay, creating all this murky, dark water surrounding you, making you feel confused and stuck. You don't need that anymore. Okay, you've learned and you've risen above that. And that is why it's time for you to make that judgment call. Okay, and that's what's going to be coming up. So let's get some energy from the psychic tarot and see what is the blockage. What are we being called to release at this time? What is the opposing energy that we're being called to release? Okay, let's see, do we have anything else? All right, so we've got <clears throat> wisdom and prosperity begins. So this is the Hierophant and the Ace of Pentacles. So here's what I'm seeing here. Remember how we said earlier how maybe you're kind of blocking yourself or standing in your own way? I kind of feel like you've always had the, this seed, okay? And I love this like James and the Giant Peach type energy. It's like almost a fantasy. You can see the peaches floating in the air because this is what we're trying to manifest, right? We're growing a peach tree. So we envision the peach tree growing. So think about the seed that you have in your hands, okay? What is it that you're wanting to plant? Because whatever that is, is not going to grow into the physical unless you're able to connect with yourself and envision it happening. With the Hierophant coming up, I feel like a lot of you have been really blocked from your higher selves. Because this is a card of spiritual beliefs and higher levels of commitment. Order hierarchy this person is holding a very thick book I mean knowledge is power this is also a divine masculine energy so it's like there's a goal there's something that you want to achieve there's something that you have that has the potential to grow okay except that it's not something that you have it's something that you are you are a spiritual master you are source. You have all of this knowledge within you. So it's time to start continuing to put your intentions and your manifestations into action. 
by using the knowledge from your higher self, okay? Your higher self is telling you something, hey, you have the potential and the power to do this. Well, don't question it. Don't wonder how you're gonna get there, just do it. Get moving, get started. Because you are the seed, okay? You are the ace of pentacles. You're the opportunity. You're the asset. And spirit is trying to show you that, okay? So let's go ahead and line those up really fast. And we're going to get a message from the queen of the moon oracle and see what spirit's advice is moving forward. What is spirit's advice? Moving forward. Anything else? Okay, so let's talk about this nourishment energy and go back to the recent past. Like I said, a lot of you have really learned the lesson of how to take care of yourselves, how to nourish and nurture yourselves, okay? This huge robin's egg, this is the manifestation. Spirit is telling you to put your energy into it, okay? Allow the emotion to flow into it. Allow your intentions to, to drift into it. It's time to start growing whatever this is and really truly nourishing it like it is important, okay? No more putting your passions on the back burner. It's time to start doing things that nourish your soul, Okay, so we also have darkness. So like I said at the beginning, this, this is that new moon energy, a time for manifestation. This is also referring to um, seeds being planted, right? So when you plant a seed in the dark, I mean, it needs, it needs to be buried in order to grow, okay? So this is a message for you that maybe in the long night, um, or in the long period of time that you feel like nothing's happening, where you start to question your worth, you need to remember that seeds grow in the dark, okay? Don't allow, don't allow what you can't see or the potential of something not growing to allow you to be fearful or scared or anxious, Okay, because those type of emotions will cause the self-fulfilling prophecy. It will cause things not to grow. I love the rabbit here too. I've been seeing a ton of rabbits recently, like a lot. Okay, Rabbits um, represent that fertile and a new energy of spring. So I feel like earlier I was talking about how this grand trine was going to allow us to, to find solutions out of peace. Okay? Find solutions in the darkness. You don't always have to see what's ahead in order to feel confident and secure, all right? And then finally, we've got purity. As you can see, we have this woman over here dancing very freely in the background. I feel like spirit is basically saying like, close your eyes to, close your eyes to the haters. Close your eyes to anyone who is not, like I said, who's not feeding that vision, okay? When you close your eyes and you think about your, your life ahead of you and you think about what you're trying to manifest and you think about the people who are in your environment and you say to yourself, can I see these people actually, actually being on board with me? being on board with who I am and my vision. If not, then it's time to block those people out, okay? It's time to understand that you don't need people surrounding you in order to be free, in order to dance, in order to live your best life, okay? It's time to put, um, put your blinders on and block out anyone who isn't on that same path, who isn't following their sole purpose, who isn't dedicated to, to ascending in their higher powers, Okay, anything that's stuck or stagnant, it's time to look the other way and continue to move forward. All right, so let's get 
a winner. Oh my gosh, I forgot to mention you guys. So first of all, I will be pulling the winner for Aries season. I will be picking a name from the bucket and the winner will be winning the Klimt Tarot Pocket Edition, as well as a custom piece of wire wrap jewelry. You can check my website. Um, and then also a free general intuitive reading. So for the winner, if it is you, please send me an email that lets me know that, you, uh, that you've that you got the message and I will send it out to you and we can book your reading. If you don't claim your prize within three days, I will recycle it to the next, okay? So let's go ahead and pull a name. And then also guys, I did not look actually before I started this video to see who were the top three zodiac signs uh, for views this season, but I will post it in the description box when I post the video, okay? And so for the three signs, I'm pretty sure it was like Capricorn and, um, and Scorpio, and I forget who the third one was, but congratulations to you guys again. Thank you so much for all of the likes, all of the views. Um, and so look forward to your intimate extended bonus readings this week. And so, yeah, let's get a name. Oh, I just looked down and it was 4114. This was a long reading. All right, so the winner is The Dominant Sloth. So I'm pretty sure that's an Instagram handle, The Dominant Sloth. Congratulations. I'm excited to send you your deck and to book your reading. And like I said, if there's something on my website that you like, a um, piece of jewelry, I would be happy to also make you a custom piece. So again, guys, I love you so much. Uh, thank you for joining me in this reading. Thank you for all of you who support this channel. Um, I'm really excited to be doing a lot of new things on my channel this year. So please stay tuned. I love you guys. I hope you have a fantastic full moon in Libra, and I will see you later on this week. Bye.